If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. In this video, we are going to see few more regular expressions which will be used frequently in the performance testing project. For the demonstration purpose, I am going to use this website onlineboutique.dev. Click on the any product and click on add to cart. And then if you scroll down, you can place your order. After placing the order, you can see the order is complete and we will get the confirmation ID and the shipping tracking ID. Our objective is to retrieve this order confirmation as well as the shipping tracking ID. For that, we are going to copy the whole response to regex101. If you scroll up, we can see the order confirmation ID and shipping tracking ID. So this particular confirmation ID consists of 36 characters with hyphen, numbers and lowercase characters. To capture this information, we are going to use the capturing group and inside the capturing group, I am going to write a character set A to Z, 0 to 9 and one hyphen character. So this tracking ID consists of 36 characters. So I am going to write 36 inside the curly braces. This will identify exactly the confirmation ID as you see in the screen. And also it is identifying few more. If you just scroll down, you can see the session ID and the request ID. So how do you identify the tracking ID? By using the index of 0 or 1, it will identify the first order confirmation ID. If you want to retrieve the session ID, you can go with the index 2 and 3. So this is how you extract the unique uh, UIDs from the response. Now let us extract the shipping tracking ID. As you see, the tracking ID is consist of three parts. First two characters, hyphen, five digit number, hyphen and nine digit number. Now let us begin writing our capturing group. Let us start with uh, A to Z of uh, two characters, hyphen and digits of uh, five and then another uh, digit of uh, nine. So this should identify this particular tracking ID. Now let us debug why it is not identifying. As you see, the regex is case sensitive. So we have to use question mark I so that it will identify the correct shipping tracking ID. Or you can change this value to capital A to capital Z. This also will work. So this is how we extract the IDs from the HTTP response. Now let us uh, try to extract the email ID from this particular web page. So how do we extract the email ID? For that, let us copy this particular response in uh, regex 101. So in this uh, page, the email ID is consist of first name dot last name. So that is the pattern they are following. So it's kind of a pretty straightforward to extract this information. As you see, the email ID pattern is first name dot last name at gmail.com. So it is kind of pretty straightforward to extract this information. So to extract this uh, first name dot last name, I am going to use a capturing group with a word character, one or more occurrences and literal uh, dot and again the word character and again uh, one or more occurrence and at the rate and then again another word character and literal character of dot and com. So as you see, it is identified the match first name dot last name at gmail.com. So this is how you write your regex to extract the email ID, but make sure this particular regex will work only for this pattern. If the pattern is different, then you may need to change your regex. That's it guys on my side. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments and thanks for watching. Have a good day. If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel.